The dictator has long demanded that the country's citizens wear one of a pre-approved selection of dues, but until recently his wasn't among them. The dictator has long demanded that the country's citizens wear one of a pre-approved selection of dues, but until recently his wasn't among them. The dictator has long demanded that the country's citizens wear one of a pre-approved selection of dues, but until recently his wasn't among them. The dictator the dictator has long, and here we have a little bit of an H, there is an H sound, the dictator has long demanded, so has, we got to have this past tense, grammar, people, come on. Now, long demanded, sometimes we add a hyphen here, long demanded, that's possible, I didn't use one. Demanded that, now, why didn't you add the ED? Well, there is kind of a reason this D and this TH, similar sounds, we connect and just worry about the TH. So, demanded that, if we say it quickly, demanded that, the D and the TH go together, demanded that. But, let's compare, if there's no ED, demand that, demand that, this D and this TH go together, demand that, demand that. But it's not demand that, it's demanded that. Demanded that. Can you hear the extra syllable, the d syllable? Demanded that. Demanded that. Okay, so once again, has, got to have that ed, and the rhythm. Let's compare. No ed, demand that. With ed, demanded that. Very different. Yes? Okay, good. The dictator has long demanded that the country, so this T comes over here, and once again, countries, it's a Z sound, it is a Z sound, citizens, but the Z and the S are similar sounds, right? So we connect and just keep the second one. The country citizens, if we said the country citizens, that means people in the country. The city people, any hairstyle. The country people, Kim Jong-un hairstyle. I would leave the country so fast into the city. But no, unfortunately, it's everybody. All the students, countries, citizens, put it together. Countries, citizens, countries, citizens. Do you understand the difference? So country, citizens is possible, but that means country people. The country's citizens means North Korea's citizens. All of them. The boys. So, tough stuff. I know it's tough. The dictator has long demanded that the country's citizens wear one of a pre-approved. Okay, wear, wear. So a hairstyle, I like the style you're wearing. We say the wear verb. Okay, that works with hairstyle. Wear, one of a, wear, one of a, and here it is an a, a. Wear one of a pre-approved pre-approved selection of dues. So a pre-approved selection. Do we know what that selection is? Do we know? No. A selection means several. Maybe there's the A hairstyle, the B hairstyle, the C hairstyle, and now the Kim Jong-un hairstyle. So this is a pre-approved selection. A pre-approved selection of dues. This is a new word. Check your glossary. And if you look at the script, uh, the, the normal word is do, and I added the S. I put it in italics so that you can see the difference. There's no apostrophe, no apostrophe, and if I remember, I'll talk about that tomorrow. Okay? So, demanded that country citizens selection of dues. A uh, pre-approved selection of dues. It's tough. Can we say the? We're one of the pre... Yes, we can say the if we know what the selection is, but we don't know what the selection is. That's why we should say a, uh, okay? All right, so let's read that section again. The dictator has long demanded that the country's citizens wear one of a pre-approved selection of dues. But until recently, his wasn't among them. Now, so... Oops. 
you know, apostrophe here. So many people missed wasn't. Until was, it doesn't really go together, until wasn't. Until recently, his wasn't among them. Listen carefully. Wasn't among. His was among them. It makes sense, but until recently, his was among them. That does make sense. But he doesn't say, they, she doesn't say, his was among them. His was among them. His wasn't among them. His wasn't among them. Catch that sound. This not is always very important in a sentence, okay? So if you wrote was, you completely missed the sentence, okay? It's important. So just listen again and you'll hear it. Let's compare was among, wasn't among, was among, wasn't among. We know the N cancels the T and we got a connection. Among them, among them, good job.